Welcome to video 104 in series 3 and in this video we're going to write the gun sound script. Make a new script, call it gun sounds. Open it up. Private gun master, gun master. Private transform, my transform. Public, I like it public, public, float, shoot volume, I'll give it a default value of 0.4f, and public, float, reload, volume, depends on your sound clip, how you'd want to set that, public, audio clip, and this will be an array, I'll call it shoot sound. This will allow you to uh, pretty much play a random cycle of sounds and public audio clip reload sound. Not an array. This one's not. Okay. No start and update. Void play shoot sound. and a public void play reload sound. And this is called by the reload animation event. So we need to set that back in Unity. Uh, anyway, but anyway, let's keep on going. So if reload sound is not equal to null, uh, then in that case, Audio source dot play clip at point. Which clip is that? That's the reload sound. Which position? My transform dot position. And the volume, which is the reload volume. Okay. Now if shoot sound uh, dot length it's greater than zero. So it's got something inside of it. Int index, I'll make this up, is equal to random dot range starting from zero to uh, shoot sound dot length. Okay, so just note what it says there. Returns a random uh, float number uh, between, oh, let me go to the next one, it's an int, so these are ints, uh, of course, because it's an array, returns a random integer number between minimum inclusive and max exclusive. So it will not return the shoot sound at length, we won't get uh, trying to access out of the bounds of the array, so we don't have to worry about that. That's why I'm saying shoot sound at length, because there is in fact no index uh, that has the same number as the length. Okay, next, audio source dot play clip at point, and that is the shoot sound, which index, of course, the one that we've just determined through the random number, and my transform dot position, the play sound, and the volume is shoot volume. All right. Okay, so for set initial references, gun master is equal to get component gun master. And my transform is equal to transform. Good, I'll set that up here. Set initial references. Gun master dot event player input plus equal shoot sound. So play the shoot sound method. Copy, paste. Now we need to go to Unity. One moment. There we go. Now we need to go to Unity. Go to the Assault Rifle. We need to go to the Animation. Go to Gun Reload. This first one here. Double click it. So no method. Now we do have a method. And that would be... Oh, well, we first need to attach the script. Oops. So close that down. 
go and attach uh, the sounds, so gun sounds. And we'll come back to that. Now we should be able to do that. Okay, uh, play shoot sound, is it? No, play reload sound. There we go. Done. So now we've got one method assigned to this event. The other one will come a bit later. Okay, now what about the sounds? Okay, so there are two. I already know what they are. For the reload sound is pretty simple. Just search for reload. You'll get that. For the other ones, search for auto. It's auto gun 3P01. Those are the ones I like anyway. Auto gun 3P01, auto gun 3P02. So a little bit of variation there. Okay, save that all. Jump in, hit play, and you should find that it's playing sounds. New no problem. Okay, so that's all good. So let me close that, and I'll just apply that. These changes to the assault rifle, so it's taking shape. Next video, we need to deal with the ammo and reloading. So that's going to be a big video. All right, thanks for watching, and see you later.